Yesterday, we received the tragic news that John McAfee, the famous founder of McAfee Antivirus, has unfortunately passed away, being found dead in his prison cell in Spain. And that's a pretty um, interesting way to go, and definitely very fitting of the character that John McAfee was because during his lifetime he has got up to a lot of antics. Between going around the United States fighting computer viruses in his essentially own version of a Ghostbusters van, to marrying a prostitute 30 years younger than him, to being on the run for apparently raising a private army, his life was a very interesting one. McAfee was doing uh, questionable stuff from a young age, with one of the first interesting things that he did being the fact that he sold fake magazine subscriptions to people when he was in university as a way of earning some money. After university, he held various positions at tons of various companies all across the country, and all of them he got by using a fake resume that made him sound a lot more qualified than he actually was. One of the companies he ended up being at was Lockheed, an American aerospace company where he was given a copy of the then new brain virus that attacked IBM PCs to tinker around with and potentially do something about. He soon found a way to delete the virus completely and wanted to make some money off of that knowledge, so he bought a Winnebago to act as a mobile antivirus paramedic unit that he used to go in the country, go to private residences or businesses that need help with virus and simply delete it for them. And that idea eventually turned into the famous, or rather now infamous, McAfee antivirus software, originally simply called as McAfee Virus Scan. However, despite it bearing his name, he never really used his own software that much, and he told the BBC in an interview that he may just stay safe by constantly changing his IP address, by never attaching his name to any device he uses, and also by simply just not going to sketchy sites on the internet. One of the reasons for those extreme measures was that McAfee kind of turned into a paranoid guy, constantly talking about how various intelligence agencies and governments around the world have it out for him. But that kind of paranoia is almost warranted when you realise that he had to flee Belize because he was charged with murdering his neighbour and also raising a private army. Near the end of his life in the 2010s, he got into politics a lot, mainly aligning himself with the American Libertarian Party and mainly standing for civil liberties and also online freedom and privacy. And in 2016, he even ran for president as head of his own cyber party. This is also the time when he started making his famous speeches about governments and about power on his Twitter, which I highly recommend you check out because there's some really good stuff there. Well, let's take a look at the human species. Uh, humans are compassionate and loving, gracious, kind, generous people. Uh, we are simultaneously greedy, jealous, envious, angry. It's really worth a listen and he hits a nail on the head on so many things and really makes you think about some stuff. Though do be careful because he can go into some more conspiracy theory territory sometimes. Uh, people, it is no secret. It is as open as it can be. The deep state does control America. Wake up, people, please. And after being on a run for so long, he was finally arrested in Spain in October of 2020 for alleged tax evasion after he had apparently four years of unrecorded and untaxed income. Plus, he also was charged with hiding crypto assets that were also undeclared and not taxed in any way. And finally, it takes us to today. Or rather, yesterday, when he was found dead in his prison cell. The official version of events is that he hanged himself, however, we have seen this story before somewhere, haven't we? Yes, whatever the truth is here, it's definitely a very mysterious ending for a very mysterious man. Though, soon after getting arrested in 2020, he also said this on Twitter. I am content in here. I have friends. The food is good. All is well. Know that if I hang myself, a la Epstein, it'll be no fault of mine. So, pretty interesting stuff, right? And despite him definitely being a very flawed man, he will definitely still be missed in the tech community, seeing how he pretty much single-handedly kick-started the antivirus industry as a whole, and for all its flaws, his software was pretty revolutionary. And he himself was a great man with some great stuff to say. And in fact, he was the author of my personal favourite quote of all time, when he said this, you can trust no one. It's not a cynical thing. I trust people to be people, to act in their own self-interests. If you understand that, you can use that. Well, rest in peace, Joe McAfee. 
your legacy will definitely not be forgotten in this community for a long time. So thank you all for sitting through this video. Let me know what you think of Joe McAfee's life down in the comments below. As usual, I love to my patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Meg Sumner, Blake Drake, and Roland Cloaker. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys make videos like these possible. And if you want to help support the channel on Patreon, the link to which is going to be down in the video description below. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.